Hello, I'm Kathy Vogan and I'm going to give you some spot training in the making of a motion template. Here we're going to jump across three programs, Photoshop, Motion and Final Cut Pro, to make a template for a program's weekly credits. We do this because a lot of the content of credits is repeated each week and the idea behind a template is to keep that part and let you quickly replace only what changes from one week to the next. So here we go. Some of the vital steps. And if you want to learn more about workflows between programs, go to my site spottraining.com.au. More demos there. So here we are in Photoshop looking at the background for the credits. That's a still. Now I've got this image on a layer and I'm just using the magic wand to select this black area and delete it. This is a window for variable video content that the editor will drop in each week. As you can see, I've got this sample image in the background to get an idea what it's going to look like, but we'll be using video later on. So I'll save that as a PSD and I'll import just the window layer to motion. So here it is in motion and we have the live video which is currently selected just underneath. So now in the image tag of the property inspector I'm going to nominate that live video layer as a drop zone for Final Cut Pro that is and then clear the decks so that you get this kind of envelope or placeholder look. I've also copied and pasted a body of text, uh, a model for the credits, onto another layer just above the window and incidentally I placed a mask over the text so that it would only appear in the upper area of the frame. Selecting this layer and going to the text tab of the property inspector I now tick publish to Final Cut Pro and that's it. Don't delete the placeholder text or the editor won't see where it's supposed to go. So now I save this as a template and there's a few options. You may want to copy all of the media you're using to one location. Collect Media does that. You'll have to create a new theme. It's actually just a folder if it's your first time as you can't save into the Apple theme folders but to save space you may want to exclude unused media and skip the QuickTime preview. Then just name your template and save. So moving on to Final Cut Pro we'll load that template in by choosing Sequence Menu Add Master Template. I like this way because it gives you a nice preview. There's my theme folder and there's my template. You may hear the soundtrack if you include it in the motion comp, but templates are actually image only when they arrive on the Final Cut Pro timeline, so you won't have to worry about erasing your soundtrack if it is already in place there. And you will have to add variable voiceover material each week at the Final Cut Pro stage. So I've got the filler for this week open in the viewer, these lovely flowers, and I can mark an endpoint if I want. And then I double click on my template in the timeline so that it now opens in the viewer. If I click on the control tab, I can see an image well and a body of text. Good, the template's worked. Now the fun part. I'm going to drag that flower clip from the browser and drop it into the image well and poof, there it is in the canvas. Next, I'm going to select that body of text and delete it. There, it's gone. And now I'm going to paste this week's credits, which I've just received by email. Done. Just before rendering that, I'm going to check the motion template render settings in my sequence menu to make sure it is always set at best quality. And it wasn't. Okay, render. And in what seems like the blink of an eye, I've completed this week's credits for Gardening Australia.